Hey there, ladies and gents, how's it going? Carter Sirach with Productive Dude here, and today I just wanna review a software that I've heard a little bit about, and I've also got some requests to review, and that is uh, Taskade, and, I, and I've had a few people want, wanting me to sort of compare it to Notion in a way, so today I'm going to compare Taskade to Notion, and I'm just gonna hop in my computer right here, and I'll go through all of that with you guys. Um, before this video starts, let me know if you guys, like, I, I have like two setups, right? So I, sometimes I'll do a white background setup and it's like a nice studio setup. And then sometimes I'll just shoot right here in my office and I'll shoot the videos like this. Let me know which one you like better, especially if you're a subscriber already. Just like, let me know, do you like the white background and the super professional look? Or do you like the more candid, like chill in the office type look like this? I mean, of course, we still got some good lighting and stuff like that, but just let me know what you think in the comments below if you get a chance. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be comparing Taskade versus Notion, as you can see by the title, and we're gonna be comparing them on a few fronts. Uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna compare them on if I like the design and just the general look of the platform and the software, like the user experience, like how it looks, how it feels. Um, so I will rate them one to 10 on that, then I'll rate them one to 10 on functionality. So like basically just how complex can you get with the functionality? That's something that's important to me because I really like a flexible software. That's one of the reasons that I love Notion. And then I'm gonna talk about ease of use. So on the other side, it also has to be a software that's like easy to use, right? And kind of intuitive. So we'll go over that. I'll, I'll compare them on an ease of use metric. And then uh, I'm gonna compare them on project management, which I know Taskade is big for project management. And then I'm gonna compare them on note taking. And we obviously know who's gonna take the cake there. It's probably gonna be Notion because I don't even know if Taskade has a note taking feature, um, but we're gonna find out once I dive into it. Um, so we're gonna compare them on those five things. And then I'm gonna come up with the total at the end and they'll have total scores against each other. Now, uh, last time I did a video like this, I got a lot of flack from people um, who are just like diehard fans of one software. And they're like, oh, you need to give it more of a chance. Um, I'm not trying to be like a jerk here. Like, I'm just gonna give my honest opinion. I'm not biased to one platform and another. Like, I do like Notion already, but I'm not getting paid or anything like that to make this review. I'm just giving like a straight up like review of what I genuinely feel about these softwares. So we're gonna hop into it and I hope I don't offend anyone on this one. All right, so let's dive right in. First and foremost, this is Notion. This is my main hub right now. And the main things that I'm using Notion for are like YouTube video tracking. So we've got like all these YouTube videos in here. Um, we got the great Jordan Belfort uh, background here. I love this movie, The Wolf of Wall Street. It's a funny movie. Got got a few things here. And I've also got like these little uh, notes here from my editor and for me to stay motivated on what matters most with the YouTube videos and things like that. So that being said, that is the YouTube videos section. We've got like an internal tutorial section. This is like something that I use for my company. Like it's basically just a tutorial dashboard. And when you click into these, it gives you like all sorts of great info, right? You've got like loom tutorials, like videoed and put into here. So like, this is great for just automating like onboarding and also just like training new employees and training clients on how to do certain things. Um, and you can request different tutorials in here too. So that's nice. And then I use Notion as like a note database too. And if you haven't seen my note database video, you guys should definitely check that out. There's like a note database that I created and this is like super flexible. You can search for any sort of notes in here. Let's just say I wanted to search for Facebook ads. I can type that in and I'd get like a full section of things on Facebook ads and I can click in here and I can read about, you know, whatever I took notes on, right? So super flexible. And another thing that I'm using at Notion for right now is uh, project management for website management. But website management is a part of what I do. We got Buddy the Elf up here. Elf is a great movie. I, I love it around Christmas time with the, with the family. And so when I click into these, actually like you can scroll down and you can see the weekly checklist here. So if I open this up, it breaks down into like a checklist, which is really nice. And you can even add comments and things like that. So not only is Notion a project management software, it's also a great note taking software. It's good for uh, keeping like onboarding tutorials set up. And like, as you can see, it's super custom. I've got these cool koi fish from the movie uh, Avatar. As you can see, I've like gone at all out with just like customizing my notion with these gifts and things like that. So definitely customizable. Now, Taskade on the other hand, Taskade is new for me and I'm actually just going to go through and try to see what these features are all about and kind of audit this software for you guys before you go out of your way to use it. Or maybe you've already used Taskade and if you want to leave a comment below and let me know if I miss anything, I would, I'd be, you know, that'd be great if you could do that. But I'm just going to probably have my editor cut around as I create these things. Um, but I'm just going to go through and try to create like, let's say 
a uh, website management project and uh, you know a YouTube video tracking project and all of that because this is really the best way for me to be acquainted with the software is just to learn to use it and try to use it the fir for the first time. Okay, so let's go, um, let's click new here. That's what's kind of my eyes drawn to right here. And you can see there's like all kinds of templates right here. So we've got weekly planner, meeting agenda, project board, mind map. Maybe I'll just test all of these out really quick. Okay, so let's try weekly planner. Oh, perfect. It just populates that right in for you. And then it looks like you can just go ahead and um, write these in. So maybe you have a goal for the week to film three videos. Maybe next I want to work out 5x five times. And then I want to delete that out of there because I don't need more than two goals for a week, okay? And this is really nice. So you can come in here and you have notes for each week. I wonder if you can drag these side by side. I don't think you can. Uh, in Notion, you can drag them side by side and save a little bit of space, but this seems pretty nice altogether. I can assign it, I can edit the tags. Okay, so maybe you wanna tag this with uh, weekly plan, give it a color to create. You can add more tags, that's nice. This is kinda like Notion, but it's like already set up for you a little bit better. Let's see what the calendar is all about. Wow, so I can set the week that we're in. Okay, so let's say I'm planning next week. Boom, boom, is that right? And I hit set, perfect, that's so cool. And it looks like there's a chat feature. I really like that in the video call. Like Notion doesn't have like a dedicated chat feature like this, it's just comments. So I do like this because I use Slack a lot to talk with my team and stuff like that, or I'll text or I'll email, but I love it when a platform like this just has a built-in chat feature. Um, man, that's awesome. And you can at people, that's great. Uh, so this is set up as a list right now, but if I hit board, I wonder what, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Cool, so you can turn these things into boards as well. But what's the difference between action and list? Maybe somebody let me know in the comments if you guys are better at this. Oh my goodness, you can change these. This is so cool. Change this to a red highlight, that's nice. Bold maybe, cool. Oh my gosh, and you can do the same thing that you can in Notion with these folds. Let's try adding a block. Okay, and there's checks, bullets, numbers, and paragraphs. That's it. Now Notion has a few more, but I think this has a lot of the same features as Notion, like this fold here. Notion just makes that like a module, but this is just an option on everything in here, so that's kind of nice. So I think the action section here, correct me if I'm wrong guys, but I think it's just basically like more of like a table format. Rather than a list which is just one column and then a bunch of rows, this it seems like you can add more uh, rows, but it's not super intuitive. I would note that. All right, now let's see what the mind map is. Oh my gosh, this is cool. It's just so dope that you can like see all of these different sort of views. You've got this week, which relates to all of these things, and you've got your goals over here, and they go, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So you've got a day for each thing. And let's say you wanted to do notes for like Sunday only. So notes for Sunday, okay? Yeah, see that? You can put notes under that too. And so if you have like a lot of notes, you can just do it for each day. That's beautiful. How about the org chart? The org chart is like the mind map. It's just more of a horizontal view rather than vertical, it looks like. Okay, cool. So this gets stored as like somewhat of a board, it looks like, or project is what they call it in here, right? And if I go to agenda, it gives me this week as a view. It gives me the roadmap view, which is so nice. This is like a Gantt chart almost. So if you wanted to, the projects could be like mini projects within a bigger project. That's what I would look at it as. I'm a web developer, so I am going to try to clear that out as you can see. And I'm just gonna create a new project as if I am trying to uh, basically get a website design project off the, off the ground, okay? So let's give it a title first. So I'm just gonna name it. Uh, green line media new website or something like that. Okay, and we're gonna tag it and I'm just gonna tag it with website project Okay Boom, and I'm gonna assign it to me Because I'm gonna be the one working on it Let's say and let's say this overall project is gonna last from 21st to the 31st. I'm gonna hit set Okay, and now let's create all the tasks that we would need for this project 
Oh, and this is cool too. It has like a little drop down. Oh, I love it. So let's color code this, right? Let's go like bold and then purple for like any main task. And then within it, let's go like, let's go, let's get granular. And then once I'm done with that, I want to maybe go into um, another category. So I'm going to pull this down. Or let's hit plus. How do I do a next category here? What did I just do? I'm going to start it over here. So get hosting infrastructure set up. That's the first thing. And then after that, we're gonna do start drafting the site. And this is gonna be yellow. Maybe a board isn't the right one that I need. Maybe I need like list. Yeah, this will probably work a little better for what I'm trying to do right now. Next step needs to be revisions. Round of revisions. So we'll show it to the team and all that and we'll get an idea of what everybody likes, what they don't like. All right, so I have gone ahead and finished this. Now what I wanna do is I actually wanna assign different dates to this and then after I do this, I wanna look at it in the Gantt chart view. Um, so let's do add to calendar. And it's not pulling up that calendar view that I had before. How did I do that? Oh, you know what I need to do? I think I need to give it a due date. That's what I need. All right, so I've got some dates in here now. Let's look at it as like a mind map view and see what this looks like. This is super cool. You can move these around and all that. Nice. Now guys, at this point, I am sure that I could give Taskade some more time. I could like learn it better. I could probably use it more. So it does have that little handicap. So I'm gonna give it like I don't know, like four handicap points just because I, I I haven't given it enough time, I don't think. So plus four to task aid for that. Now let's get into the actual ranking of these websites. Give task aid a handicap though. First and foremost, task aid versus notion design and user experience. Which one do I like better? Well, I will say task aid, number one, it's a great looking app. It's pretty intuitive. Um, and I, I do like the way that it looks not as flexible as notion. Uh, you can't, I don't think you can make it look exactly like you would want to. Let me actually see. Maybe you can change the background here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You can change the backgrounds and you can do a lot with it. It kind of reminds me of how Trello looks, but it's like, it's like notion and Trello had like a love child, right? That's pretty much what task eight is so far. And it, it kind of reminds me of monday.com a little bit too, with this chat feature and things like that. It's a great, it's a great app. There is some uh, de great design, I think. So I'm actually going to give it an eight on design and notion. I, I think it's flexible, but it doesn't look as pretty out of the box in my opinion. So I'm going to give notion a seven, not to say you can't get notion looking good cause you can. And sometimes people even customize it and like actually do custom CSS on notion, I believe. So you can get it looking really awesome, but I'm just talking out of the box notions prize seven. I'd give task eight an eight. Now, next up functionality, functionality. I would say, uh, right off the bat that Taskade had quite a few functionalities and for most people with most normal projects, it's going to be more than enough to get your projects done and to, and to do them well. I will say though that Notion is probably a little bit better on this front. Uh, it's, it's much more flexible, much more complex. You can get it looking a lot different too. Like you can get the design to look good on Notion. So I'm going to give Notion for functionality a nine and I'm going to give Taskade a seven. Now ease of use, Taskade definitely wins here. I think there's there's no doubt that Taskade has a, a much smaller learning curve. So for Taskade on ease of use, I'm going to give it an eight and I'm gonna give Notion a six or actually let, let's, let's bump it up to a seven. I'll give Notion a seven, um, but to really get the full, uh, you know, the sort of the full experience of Notion, you, you're gonna have to spend some time learning it and learning the formulas, learning how relational databases works and things like that. Now we move on to the project management criteria. So project management, Taskade is evidently a project management software, uh, first and foremost, and I like it. You know, I like the project management aspect of it and I think that they're both really good. I would give Taskade a nine on this one on project management and I'm gonna give Notion a nine as well because Notion is super flexible, not as easy to get started with, but you can do most of the things in Taskade that you can do in Notion and vice versa. Um, but Notion has a little bit more flexibility and I like that you can do tables within tables in Notion. And I just don't see that functionality here. I could be missing something, but um, I'm finding it hard to uh, do super complex project management with Taskade. Now we move on to the final front, which is note-taking. So note-taking, 
is definitely um, something that Notion, I think, takes the cake on. Uh, but Taskade also has this mind mapping feature and org charts and things like that. So I do have to say that like, you could come in here, you could change it to like paragraph format, you could hit bold, you have italics, you have uh, underlines you can use, different colors. So you can certainly use this for a certain type of note taking, you know, hands down. You can definitely take notes in here. Um, but I just think the way that you can store your notes and search for your notes and things like that in Notion is a little bit more flexible. I'm actually going to give Taskade a seven on note taking and I'm gonna give Notion a nine. Agree or disagree, I could be a little bit biased with Notion here, but that's just my final answer for that. Plus Taskade already has a four point uh, handicap. So I'm gonna have my editor total these up because I don't know what it's actually going to come out to. I don't even know who the winner's gonna be. So it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. But here is the grand total. Here's the winner. Wow, so it looks like Taskade came out on top, which is awesome. You know, it's great to find a new software and this is actually a free software up until like I think uh, 10 projects or something like that, if I remember right. So lots of functionality here and I really enjoyed this software. I really enjoyed reviewing it. So congratulations to Taskade. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like. I really dream of this channel being a, a huge channel one day that you know, productivity nerds like myself can all kind of congregate at. And hopefully this is a side income for me one day because right now I do all of this like free of charge. I actually pay an editor to do all of this. So it, it's all here to build up a community and you know, that's, that's really the purpose of it right now. So if you like this video, it supports the channel. And if you comment below and let me know which ones that you're using, Taskade or Notion or both, that will also help the channel. So comment below, let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what your ratings would be for these apps. That would be great. If you like this video, please subscribe for more and we'll see you guys in the next one.